ever since Saul Phillips was hired as Ohio's men's basketball coach, we thought, now well, that's a coach that's made for radio and made for TV. And thus, the Saul Phillips radio shows on the Ohio IMG Sports Network are going to be special all season long. In addition to our post-game reports, too, but over the next 11 Monday nights, we'll visit with the coach live from Latitude 39 at Baker Center at Ohio University, and we'll bring out the best slices of the show to you here on Bobcat TV. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. He's outgoing, he's incredibly engaging, and he's a heck of a basketball coach. And what we'll do here over the course of about five minutes is we'll break down our radio show that airs on Monday nights on the largest radio network in the Mid-American Conference to you on Bobcat TV. The first one comes after Ohio lost a buzzer beater 83-81 to Belmont over last weekend in advance of the St. Bonaventure ball game coming up on Saturday. So without further ado, from Latitude 39, here's the Saul Ball Show Slice. Ever since I saw Saul Phillips run over to the student uh, section and his fan section after they knocked off Oklahoma and he raised up the bison horns and I thought, that's a coach that would be good for radio. I'd like to work with a head coach like that. Uh, and then he got the job, and I still thought that. And he's here with us tonight. How about of a really nice round of applause for your first-year head coach, Saul Phillips. How about that for an introduction, Coach? That was terrific. You know, that was sliding under the wire, too. People at home obviously can't see it, but I literally walked in, like, just bam. What are you talking about? You've been here for a half hour. I, I went to, are we at Latitude 39? We are, yes. I went to Latitude 38 first. That was my problem. That's a couple of uh, ticks. That was a North full latitude South away. How does the latitude and longitude work exactly? I think exactly? it's smaller as you go toward the equator. That, that seems like it would be right. zero would be. Right. Okay. That okay. makes sense. So I asked you this in the pregame show the other night. In this, in this forum, I think it's a good question, too. What do we know about your team through four games, and what don't we know about your team through the first four games? Well, we, going into the last game, we proved ourselves to be a pretty good defensive team. If you look at our numbers overall, uh, we struggled a little bit, but Belmont's an exceptional offensive team. I still think we have a pretty good defensive identity. I think, we, uh, I think we're pretty good that way. Uh, you know, so much of it is we're still learning. Uh, for example, against Pine Bluff, we have 20 turnovers, and the other night against Belmont, we have five. Well, which one are we? I don't know. I think we're probably closer to five than we are 20 on a given night. Uh, I know that we have a 6'9 kid inside that is a beast that we've got to continue to try to go to more and more and more. Uh, I know we've got some quick guards that can penetrate. I know at times our shot selection isn't great. Uh, we've got to trust the pass more. Uh, Boy, I'm all over the charts, but no, I, I guess that mm -hmm. kind of sums it up. I think you're still trying to forge your identity a little bit. And when you have a lot of guys that are playing together for uh, the first times and, and trying to come together, I think you're going to have some of that. Plus, you got a goofy guy from North Dakota talking all the time. You know, it, it me. Yeah. Uh, that, well, I'm, not, I'm from Wisconsin, actually. That's a whole other issue. Uh, most recently from North Dakota. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still forging some of that. And you, and you want it to come together. I told our guys, I, I want to win every game we can, but I'm really interested in being on track by the start of MAC play and, more importantly, really hitting stride by the MAC tournament. That's kind of good. That, that's the barometer for your success. I mean, I'll tell you what, the, I, I'm sure the people in here remember, but they remember a Sweet 16 a lot more than they finished their finish in the conference uh, race that year or anything else. They got there by winning the conference tournament. Yeah. And I want to win MAC championships both regular season and uh, tournament. That, that's the goal. What we have to go through to get there, you know what? It's all part of the process, and, and we'll deal with it one way or the other. I'm sure the good folks at Latitude 39 can uh, have a little cake for you, unless it, he's already had that. Uh, many times. Many times? Well, maybe, maybe another one, maybe a birthday Sunday for you as well. So how, how old are you now? You're nine. What did you think of the game? Here we go. Let's put the headset on. So, Charlie, what did you think of the game on, on Saturday night? Bobcats played hard, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah? What um, What's your favorite part of being in southeast Ohio and Athens right now, huh? Um, I like the weather. You like the weather? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different than, than Fargo, huh? Mm -hmm. Charlie, let me ask you this. Did the Bobcats get out coached on Saturday? Um. Whoa, hey. Got it. Hey, fairness, got to guard that inbounder, don't you? The guy that took the shot, yeah, at the end of it. That's okay. 
Have you had a chance to take a look at St. Bonaventure as of yet and your thoughts on what you've seen on tape from them? Very briefly. I'll get into them a lot deeper tonight. Uh, been really worried about us. Uh, Coach Ryan's got the scout for them. Uh, I understand they've got some strong strong guard play. they uh, got some bigger bodies inside. But again, I'll, I'll know a lot more after tonight. I, I usually try not to do more than three days of prep for a team so that I can concentrate on us. So I will get uh, watch them tonight. Will will debrief me tomorrow on what he thinks is important. We'll throw together a, a game plan, and we'll be good. I think the first show was a success. What do you think? I think it was wonderful. What do you think? Everybody know? Is that okay? Good time. Yeah. Do, well, I get, do I get to come back and do it again? Is that okay? If you beat St. Bonaventure, you do. Oh, well, what if I don't? <laughs> well, then we're going to find somebody. Okay, well. No, you'll be back okay. here. We're on the air on Saturday on the radio network at 1.30 for a tip time at 2 o'clock as Ohio takes on the Bonnies of St. Bonaventure from the Atlantic 10. Should be a good one. It's a student crowd, hopefully, in advance of getting ready for finals. So we hope to see a whole lot of students at the Roundhouse on Richland. Should be a good ball game between the Bobcats and the Bonnies. That's our Saul Ball Show Slice from Latitude 39 at Baker Center at Ohio University. For Ryan Cochran and Tanner Smith, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.